Hello today's video we have the following content. Red carpet photos of the Magnolia nomination night, Jang Yan is stunning, Ding Yong Day is anti-aging, Tang Yan's eye makeup steals the show. This year's Shanghai TV Festival Magnolia Award is particularly popular. As early as when the nomination list was announced, there were doubts and heated discussions about Wang Yang's nomination of the male supporting actor for the male lead. In addition, the three female protagonists of Flowers all reported for the Best Actress selection, and Tang Yan was finally shortlisted. There was also Mr. Ben Chang who voluntarily gave up the qualification to participate in the nomination, just to make way for young people. Yang Zi was shortlisted for the Best Actress with the costume idol drama Longing, which was questioned and ridiculed. On June 27, the 28th Shanghai TV Festival Magnolia Award Ceremony kicked off at Shanghai Culture Square. The red carpet was star-studded, and many powerful actors in the film and television industry gathered together to witness this glorious moment belonging to Chinese TV people. The first thing that caught my eye was the beautiful and moving Tang Yan. She was successfully shortlisted for the Best Actress for her role as Miss Wang in Flowers. This TV series, adapted from Jin Yuchen's novel of the same name, is set in Shanghai in the 1990s and tells the story of the struggles of a group of ordinary people. Tang Yan plays Miss Wang in the play, a character full of contradictions and complexity, and she perfectly interprets the inner struggle and growth of this character. Following closely behind is Ni Huangji. She was nominated for Best Supporting Actress for her role as Liu Meiling in The Pretender Revelation. This satirical comedy delves into the hypocrisy and affectation in modern society. Ni Huangji plays Liu Meiling, a character with a distinct personality, and her performance adds a lot to the whole play. Among the many senior actors, the appearance of Zhao Zhe Oie, a new generation actor born after 1995, added a touch of fresh color to the red carpet. She is only 25 years old this year. Although she made her debut on the red carpet of the Magnolia Awards, she performed gracefully and without any stage fright. Although Xiao Zhe Oie was not nominated for the award this time, her appearance undoubtedly added a touch of vitality to the night. Hai Qing's role as a judge of the Magnolia Awards this time is undoubtedly a recognition of her contribution to the film and television industry over the years. On the red carpet, Hai Qing still maintained her usual intellectual and elegant style. She wore a simple and elegant long dress with exquisite makeup. The overall look was neither ostentatious nor lacking in characteristics, perfectly interpreting what is a sense of luxury in a low-key manner. Surprisingly, Hai Qing's live photos were still excellent. As we all know, celebrities on the red carpet are often carefully dressed and retouched, but Hai Qing's live photos are not inferior to the retouched photos. Following Hai Qing was Jiang Yan. Jiang Yan was successfully nominated for the Best Supporting Actress in this year's Magnolia Awards for her role as Yao Yuling in the TV series South to North. This nomination is not only a recognition of Jiang Yan's acting skills, but also an affirmation of the entire South to North crew. Jiang Yan's look on the red carpet can be said to be stunning. She chose an orange halter dress. This bright and warm color not only highlights her temperament, but also adds a touch of bright color to the entire red carpet. Ming Li was nominated for the Best Supporting Actor in this year's Magnolia Awards for his role as Song Chen in the TV series Under the Bustling City. Ming Li's performance in the play is remarkable. He interprets the inner world of the character Song Chen vividly and leaves a deep impression on the audience. On the red carpet, Ming Li chose a dark suit, and the overall look was capable and elegant. His expression was natural and his manners were decent, showing the calm temperament of a mature actor. Wang Rinjun was nominated for the Best Actor in this year's Magnolia Awards for his outstanding performance in the TV series Ask the Vast. This nomination is an affirmation of Wang Rinjun's efforts over the years and an acknowledgement of the quality of the work Ask the Vast. Although he is 41 years old, Wang Rinjun's state on the red carpet is still outstanding and impressive. He chose a well-tailored suit, which not only highlights his good figure, but also highlights the charm of a mature man. Wang Rinjun's eyes are firm and confident showing the image of an actor who has experienced vicissitudes and is still full of vitality. Although Chen Long himself was not nominated, the TV series Flowers in which he starred was shortlisted for the Best Photography and Best Art Awards. This is not only an affirmation of the entire crew, but also reflects the outstanding achievements of Flowers in artistic presentation. Chen Long's role as Tao Tao in Flowers left a deep impression on the audience. On the red carpet, Chen Long chose a simple but tasteful suit and the overall look was low-key but stylish. Ding Yongdae was nominated for the Best Actor in this year's Magnolia Award for his role as Ma Kei Yui in South to North. 
As a senior actor, Din Yong Day's acting skills are unquestionable. Although he is 65 years old, Din Yong Day stayed on the red carpet is still amazing. He chose a well-cut dark suit, and the overall look is calm and atmospheric, showing the charm of a mature man. Din Yong Day's calmness and confidence in his gestures all show the unique temperament of an actor who has experienced the baptism of time. Yanni was nominated for the Best Actress Award at the Magnolia Awards for her role as Sun Yuping in the TV series Grandma's New World. This nomination is not only a high recognition of Yan Ni's acting skills, but also an affirmation of the entire Grandma's New World crew. She chose a white deep V dress, a bold and elegant design that not only highlights her temperament, but also adds a touch of bright color to the entire red carpet. The dress is exquisitely cut, perfectly outlining Yan Ni's graceful figure. As the red carpet event came to an end, we couldn't help but applaud the wonderful performances of these outstanding actors. In this night of Magnolia glory, every star showed their best state and unique style. From Hai Qing's intellectual elegance to Zhang Yan's dignified generosity, from Ning Li's calm and restraint to Wang Rinjun's mature charm, from Chen Long's low-key taste to Ding Yong Day's calm confidence, and then to Yan Ni's elegance and competence, each actor interpreted what is a true star style in his own way. Next news. At the Magnolia Awards, Zhou Soon deserved the award, which once again confirmed what Chen Daoming said. Recently, the highly anticipated 29th Shanghai TV Festival Magnolia Awards finally announced the list of winners. There is no doubt that due to the Magnolia Awards ceremony, Shanghai was star-studded that night, presenting many rare and wonderful scenes. For example, when Hu Jia, Liu Yifei and Wang Jin appeared in the same frame, we all knew that Hu Jia had worked with these two actresses. However, we did not expect that the three of them would appear together. What is even more surprising is that Hu Jia actually sat in the middle, as if he had become the male bestie of Liu Yifei and Wang Jin. In addition, Liu Yifei met her good bestie Tang Yan backstage at the Magnolia Awards ceremony. The scene of the two beauties chatting intimately as soon as they met was enough to prove the deep friendship between them. It must be mentioned that at the Magnolia Awards ceremony that night, Tang Yan undoubtedly became the focus of the audience. Not only did she stand out in her dress with a black haute couture dress, she also attracted everyone's attention in the entire venue. The blue gemstone necklace worn by Tang Yan not only perfectly embellished her sweetness and elegance, but also made people reluctant to take their eyes off her at first sight. In addition, Tang Yan was also a hot candidate for the Best Actress Award that night. She played Miss Wong in the TV series Flowers and was highly praised by the audience. This time, she was nominated for the Best Actress of the Magnolia Awards. Most importantly, if she really won the title of Best Actress of the Magnolia Awards that night, she would become the first person among the 85 flowers to win this honor, and her status in the domestic entertainment industry would definitely be greatly improved. In fact, the seating arrangement that night was meaningful. Tang Yan actually sat in front of the Queen of Film Zhou Soon, sitting side by side with Hu Jie in the first row. This seems to imply that the Flowers crew is expected to become the biggest winner of the 29th Magnolia Awards. Although the facts are true, Flowers won four awards at the Magnolia Awards ceremony that night and became the well-deserved biggest winner. However, among these four awards, there is no important award for Best Actress, but Hu Jie won the Best Actor Award. In the end, the winner of the Best Actress Award was Jo Soon, who is known as a professional award winner. She won this honor for her role as Lincoln in the TV series The Imperfect Victim. This is the second time that Jo Soon has won the Magnolia Best Actress Award. Although most netizens are not surprised by this result, Jo Soon's victory is mainly due to her high status in the industry. Although many netizens said that such a result was within their expectations, many people still feel sorry for Tang Yan. However, Chen Daoming had foreseen such a controversial result in the Magnolia Award many years ago. As a senior actor who has debuted for many years, Chen Daomin is knowledgeable and has experienced ups and downs. In the process of developing in the entertainment industry for many years, he has always given people a sober and wise impression. Chen Daomin once made a comment on whether actors miss win acting awards. In his opinion, it is actually not important whether an actor wins an award. Therefore, actors should have a sense that winning an award is not a particularly important thing. When Chen Daomin made this statement, Many people may find it difficult to understand and think that he is talking nonsense. After all, he has been awarded many times. However, today, we have seen many outstanding actors, many of whom have never been nominated for any awards. Even if they are nominated, the final result is just running for the team. 
For example, the list of the Magnolia Awards just announced has caused a lot of controversy. For example, the TV series The Wind Chaser has caused a debate about who is the male lead between Wang Yang and Wang Yibo, and why actress Liu Lin did not even get a nomination for her wonderful performance in The Glory of the Fathers. Despite these controversies, with the announcement of the final winners of this year's Magnolia Awards, these controversies have gradually faded and will be slowly forgotten by people. However, the awards won by the actors who won the Magnolia Awards are undoubtedly real and unforgettable, and even caused some controversy. In the eyes of many people, Hu Jie won the Emperor of Television Award for his role as Bei Ozong in Flowers, which is well deserved, and the outside world should have no objection to this. However, this is not the case, because one of Hu Jie's competitors is veteran actor Fan Wei. Fan Wei's performance in the TV series The Long Season was praised by many netizens as textbook level. Despite the excellent performance and the high praise won by The Long Season, Fan Wei ultimately failed to win the Emperor of Television and the Magnolia Awards. In the eyes of many netizens, this is very unreasonable. They believe that Fan Wei lost to Hu Jie this time, not because of his status or acting skills, but because of his birthplace. Seeing this, we have a deeper understanding of the correctness of Chen Daoming's remarks that year. In his early years, he not only emphasized in public that actors should have the consciousness of not winning awards. He also expressed his views on various acting award ceremonies. He believes that the gold content of many awards is not high, and one award cannot explain anything. Chen Daoming's implication is that even if you don't win an award, it doesn't mean that you perform poorly. The reason why he said this is to remind all actors not to be troubled or discouraged by not winning an award. Always aim to improve your acting skills, and as for whether you can win an award, just treat it as a pleasant surprise on the road of struggle. At the 29th Magnolia Awards, there were many surprises. Actor Ning Li won the Best Supporting Actor Award for his outstanding performance in the TV series Under the Bustling City. When he gave his acceptance speech, he said bluntly that it took him 30 years to climb the six steps of the podium today. In these 30 years, Ming Li has been committed to improving his acting skills and has created many popular roles. Although he has not been recognized by the award, he has not felt entangled or troubled by it, and still insists on working hard to film. The unexpected Magnolia Best Supporting Actor trophy was obviously a big surprise for him. Actors should regard winning awards as a pleasant surprise like Ming Li. Therefore, the outside world does not have to feel sorry for actors such as Tang Yan who did not win awards. It is not important to win awards or not. What really matters is to be a good actor. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,